here today we have our rainfall simulator and we're going to look at uh, a number of conservation practices and, and how they behave uh, when a rain event occurs. So over on the far side, we have a field that has been uh, tilled multiple times. Um, it has no residue left at the surface. Uh, next to that is a field that has uh, also been tilled, uh, but has residue remaining on the soil surface. And over on this side, we have uh, an example of a no-till field with residue on the surface and a uh, what would represent pasture or a field with cover crops where we have uh, green um, growing uh, vegetation at the surface. We have good soil structure. Uh, and so we'll let the rainfall simulator run here for a little bit and see what happens. So that field that was, was tilled, uh, that has no cover on it, now that it started running off, we're starting to see a fair amount of sediment leaving with that. All right, so let's, let's start our converse, conversation by looking at these three trays. So we've got our conventional tilled with some residue left on the surface. We've got our no-till with residue on the surface. And then we've got our pan with grass in it. Um, good cover. Um, so what do we see? You know, the first observation is we look at the runoff. And we saw the, the greatest amount of runoff with that conventional tilled pan that has the residue on the surface. When we go to the no-till, we see um, less runoff. That runoff is uh, clearer, indicating there's less sediment in it. And then we actually didn't, didn't uh, really collect very much runoff from our pasture system at all, um, which indicates that we've had a good amount of infiltration happening in that system. Now, we've cut this off at just about two inches of soil. If we think about how much thicker the A and the B horizon with all that soil structure is, you know, we've got, think about it as a sponge that has capacity to hold, hold a lot of, of water as it infiltrates. So here we've got a lot of intact pores. Um, we're protecting that soil surface, so we're, we've got channels that that water can move through. We have those in the no-till system as well. Um, so a lot of infiltration, about uh, half as much infiltration with the no-till, but still, still a good amount of infiltration. And then we had some infiltration with the full tillage system, uh, but not as much. Um, and so it, you know, from a, a water, total water, um, we've got probably about the same amount, it's just where that water is, and certainly from a water storage and getting through the periods of the year or between storm events, I would like to get as much water infiltrating into our, our cropping systems so that our crops have a chance to, per, to survive those, those periods of time without uh, precipitation events. And so certainly no-till has, has that potential. Um, our conventional tillage, we'll see some, but uh, we do have to be careful about that soil surface crusting and sealing over, um, and we will see more runoff with that. Now this pan is our bare pan. Um, it's been flipped out a couple times today, and so um, we can't really compare. We're not comparing apples to apples here, uh, but we can look here and We've got quite a bit of sediment just in the, the time that that was running off that's accumulated in the bottom of the jar. Uh, very little uh, water that's infiltrated. And the interesting thing here as you start to look at this surface is we're already seeing some signs of, of uh, erosion occurring on that soil surface. As those raindrops, I think about raindrops as a fist. And as that fist is coming down, that raindrop is coming down, it's got energy. And that raindrop is pounding the soil surface. Um, if we don't have any residue to absorb the energy from that raindrop, the soil surface is absorbing all of that energy. It's, you know, loosening 
mineral and organic matter particles from, from our aggregates. And those start to, to move freely at the soil surface, transported by the water as it's running across the surface. They're gonna fill in any of our, our pores that water could infiltrate through. They're gonna plug those. And then, you know, if we dry out, then that's what leads to surface crusting. That surface uh, seals off and uh, then our crops have a harder time getting out of the ground. So if we can uh, keep some residue on the soil surface, you know, if we can uh, move towards uh, reducing mechanical disturbance uh, through tillage and planting, um, we can uh, keep a, more of those pores intact and protected so that we can infiltrate more water into the ground.